I am Devlin Steele, Director of Education at Augusta Precious Metals. We'll be looking forward to another steady stream of economic data this week, much of it focused on the health of the labor market. Here's some of what we'll be watching. Before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe for more economic updates. This week's round of job market updates kicks off on Tuesday when the Labor Department issues its Job Openings and Labor Turnover Survey, or JOLTS, report for June. Economists expect to find that job openings fell to 9.5 million last month from 9.8 million openings in May. The following day, Wednesday, it will be time for the July National Employment Report courtesy of Payroll Processor ADP. The report's expected to show an increase in private sector payrolls of 210,000 for the month, a considerably smaller increase from June, when payrolls jumped by nearly a half a million. Then on Friday, we'll finish up with the government's non-farm payrolls report for July. Economists are projecting that 184,000 jobs were picked up this month, a modestly smaller gain than the 209,000 jobs added in June, and the actual unemployment rate is expected to match June's 3.6% number, remaining close to the measure's 50-year low. Elsewhere, the global inflation spotlight will shift to Britain this week, as officials at the Bank of England convene for their latest meeting on monetary policy. The UK's central bank is expected to raise rates another 25 basis points on Thursday. That would be the BOE's 14th straight rate hike since it began tightening in late 2021. Inflation in the UK has proved especially stubborn with June's headline number remaining close to 8% and the core inflation rate just under 7%. Finally, the Institute for Supply Management will reveal its Purchasing Managers Indexes for July on behalf of both the manufacturing and services sectors. For the last eight months, manufacturing PMI has come in below the critical value of 50 that separates contraction from expansion. It appears that will happen again this month, with the consensus forecast saying we should expect a reading of 47. The services sector has been consistently stronger, and that trend is expected to continue this month, with economists looking for services PMI to land at 53.1. That's all for now. Please join us again at the end of the week when we'll recap some of the more important economic developments. This is Devlin Steele for Augusta Precious Metals, signing out.